Baby ball net. It's made of tiny twisted ropes that have to be knotted together at every intersection to make perfect 10 centimeter squares. But how do they tie all those perfect little knots? Well, the knots cannot be tied until the ropes are made, and this begins in the first of two winding machines. These twist together thin strands of nylon to make the tiny little ropes that make up the net. The nylon strands are about the thickness of dental floss, but they're a lot stronger. In fact, nylon like this was originally used to reinforce tires. It's a great choice for making volleyball nets because it's stronger than organic materials like cotton. Also, it won't shrink or stretch in the rain or sun. To turn the nylon into netting, three strands are pulled into the winding chambers inside the first machine. Here, they're twisted together into a single cord. As the finished cords spin out of the machine, they're wound onto spools. When the spools are full, they're moved onto the second winding machine. Here, three of the cords are twisted together again to make an even thicker, stronger rope. Add it all up, and the finished rope contains nine strands of the original nylon thread, and it's strong enough to support 192 kilos. Before the rope is woven into netting, it's loaded into an oven for a quick steam bath. This is to relax the tension in the rope from all that twisting. When the rope is relaxed, it's woven neatly and tightly onto new spools to get it ready to be tied into netting. It takes 440 spools of rope and a five meter long power loom to tie the ropes into a volleyball net. And tying is exactly what the loom does. It knots together intersecting strands of rope to make the perfect little squares in the net. The knot the machine makes is called a fisherman's knot because it was originally invented to make fishing nets. It's tied in two steps. We had the net maker do it by hand so you could see. First, the rope is looped through the square above it. Then it's passed back through, tying the knot. The loom does the same thing, but on a massive scale. Here's a look in slow motion so you can see it better. A bar raises the ropes up to a row of little hooks that grabs and twists it into loops. Then a second rope from below is pulled through, creating the knot. At full speed, the loom can tie 220 knots every five seconds. This means it can tie all of the knots needed to make a volleyball net in about 20 seconds, and that's 860 knots. As the netting comes out of the loom, it's dredged through a thick black liquid dye that colors and conditions it. The black color is easier for players to see, and chemicals in the black help add stiffness and body to the net, while adding even more weather protection to the nylon. The darkened net drops through a hole in the factory floor into a hot room where hundreds of yards of it pile up to dry overnight. Once the netting is dry, workers cut it down to size. A durable vinyl border is sewn around all four sides to give the net extra strength. Then a vinyl coated steel cable is threaded through the top border. This is to help secure the net to the poles on the sides of the court. And the bottom edge gets a rope so the bottom corners can be tied down. Finally, four heavy duty grommets are punched into each corner to give the net vertical stability. When it's all finished, the net takes a spin on a winding machine so it will fit neatly into a box. And now the net is ready to serve up some fun.